Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. Today, it's time for a shave video. Real quick, I'm gonna wet my face. Check out the haircut. It's one week old from the barber shop. Did a pretty decent job. Surprise. <laughs> I just wasn't up for a uh, shave video on Wednesday. And cutting my hair. Still doing a little bit of recovery on the knee surgery. Uh, today's shave soap is going to be Nivea. And uh, this is the body shaving stick. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. Uh, you can find this every so often at uh, TJ Maxx, or at least at my TJ Maxx. Uh, and when they get them in, sometimes, quite often, the person puts the label on there for the price. But if you go back three or four, the price on the one in the back will be lower, which it's like $3.99. And this one will be like $4.99 or $5.99 in the front. <laughs> yeah, I won't even say. Anyway... Just a little savings tip for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply the shaving stick. You know, and this <clears throat> this might be something nice for in the shower. I, I do like this scent. Um, it's the same scent as the um, tube. The cream in the tube. And I'm just going to go go a little overboard here with it. Got a couple days worth of growth. And I probably should have showed you this before I got it wet, but <clears throat> this actually has a little bit of a design flaw. And since it's wet, all that stuff is gonna run down into the bottom. I'll, I'll just set it upside down for right now and I'll try to show you at the end of the video. I do have the Nivea Deep Splash that I'm gonna be using. And I have my Trotter's brush here soaking in a hot thing of water and I'm just gonna start lathering this stuff up it does pretty nice for what it is it has a pleasant scent it's not too strong and it's not you know, too mild. I mean, you can definitely tell there's something there. But if you're walking down the street and the people that you meet, <laughs> no, no one's going to really smell it uh, unless they get, you know, in your space. All right, today's shave razor is going to be this awesome PAA slant. And this is the uh, Alpha Ecliptic. I can never remember that. But it's uh, very unique because this side is nice and round. Almost kind of like the old McCor adjustable. But then this side is much different. Uh, and it's the slant. I have it loaded up with a Gillette 7 o'clock yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and knock it down. This razor is very, very smooth. I don't feel like it's aggressive at all. The only thing is on the end here, there's just ever so slightly a little tab. So if you're getting wieldy with it, uh, pay attention around the nose and the ears because that little tab may get you. Yep, no problems knocking down the stubble. There's just a little bit of residual slickness with this soap. Not a whole lot. If you were in the shower shaving, you definitely wouldn't want the water to be bouncing off your face. I always stand and have the water hit me in the back if I'm shaving in the shower. <clears throat> a 
Well, uh, Wednesday will make two weeks since my knee surgery. And I can uh, stand full weight on it now. And there's really not a whole lot of pain standing or setting. But my knee is uh, just a little bit swollen. But it feels really, really tight. I don't know if you've ever uh, had any injuries on joints and stuff, but it um, it kind of has that tightness feeling to it. Almost like you have on a pair of pants that are just too tight and then you go to sit down or bend and it just has that feeling like you could go just a little bit more, but if you did, it might pop. That's, that's kind of a feeling I have. And uh, I guess there's kind of a strange phenomenon. I don't know. I, I looked it up because I got... I got a little spooked, but I guess once they go in there and, and mess around, <clears throat> your quadricep kind of gets uh, stunned. And so <clears throat> takes a little bit of physical therapy or continuous movement and stuff. And I, I've been doing all that stuff. It's just, I think it just takes a little bit of time. But after you had a couple surgeries that didn't go so well, <clears throat> you become a little paranoid on uh, any new surgery. So if something's not going right, I kind of start worrying like, uh oh, what's what's happening here? But um, yeah, you know, if I'm laying in bed and I'm on my back and my knees are, you know, bent like this, you know, a lot of times when you're wanting to get out of bed, you need to move that leg up. Well, if I get beyond, you know, that, I physically cannot move my knee up to here. But once I get it there, I can move it, no problem. And I think that's part of that quadricep deal. But if I'm sitting in a chair upright and I move my leg in that same uh, direction, I don't have any problems with it. Um, so I think it's just going to take a little bit of time. The other thing is uh, walking. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes, and when it does, it's <laughs> my my leg will, you know, give out and go forward. And if I'm lucky, I can jump fast enough on my right leg and kind of do that hop, hop, hop until I catch myself. But if it goes backwards, that pain that is achieved at that moment is very, very intense. And uh, it, it almost drop you to your knees. I mean, it definitely makes you stop. <clears throat> I ran my soap a little thick. Should have probably put a little bit more water in there, but it's rinsing out the stubble, no problem. But. Yeah, so I go see the doctor later this week. I get to talk to him, see what all he saw and what all was really going on. Kind of uh, looking forward to hearing because, you know, when you're coming out of surgery, if they talk to you, you're not really in your full frame of mind. You might have heard it. He might have told me. <laughs> I don't fully remember it. All right, I'm going to go get cleaned up with some cold water, and I'm going to be right back. The old Lancaster black sheep towel. You know, I get a lot of uh, newsletters and stuff from different vendors, and uh, it seems as though a lot of people has tried to make their own type of shave towel, and uh, <clears throat> they really resemble that a lot. I don't know if that's, you know, really fair to say, but uh, it's just what I see. All right, go ahead and apply a little splash here. This does have a big plastic restrictor in it, but this is a very gentle uh, splash. I think there is some alcohol in there, but um, very mild. There's no sting or burn or no uh, menthol sensation. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, 
And then I'm going to follow that up with a little bit of star jelly. <clears throat> I feel like the shade went pretty well. Definitely reduced my stubble on percentable. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go back to... Uh, Luckily, I remembered to uh, try to take that out. I don't know if you can see in there. Nope. But anyway, uh, on the bottom of this knob that you twist, there's just a little bitty, I'm going to call it kind of a, I would say clutch, but it's not really clutch. But it's almost like the two pieces have to kind of mate together like this. And then as you're turning the bottom knob, it turns this piece and it has a thread. Well, on the edge of the, there's like little um, tabs here that hold the soap in place. Uh, and so that allows it to go up and down. But here's the little cog thing that I was talking about with the uh, thread. And there's a little plastic insert cup here. And you can see this is not very uh, beefy. And so... When you're using this in the shower, the lather and water is going to run down. And it kind of builds up in here. You can kind of see with without the uh, light. But anyway, it gets kind of gooed up. And this piece will actually kind of stick. So you can turn and turn and turn this. But as you can see, the teeth are very little right here. I mean, this piece is very uh, flexible. I can't really get it on camera. So as you're trying to turn that, it's just going click, 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 and it's not pushing that up. So if you are going to use this in the shower, I would probably store it this way and maybe all that stuff. And you can see in here, that's kind of what mine started to do. Uh, and maybe that's why it goes on sale. I'm not really sure, <clears throat> but uh, it is a nice little stick. And what I did in order to get it unstuck was I just kind of hit it on the bottom of my hand and that uh inertia pulled that away and allowed it to unstick good old shave sticks sticking all right well that's the shave for the day i'll put a little picture right here of everything i used and uh, if you have used the nivea body shave stick comment below and let me know how did it work out for you i'll see you guys on the next shave video you have a great rest of your weekend